A cos omega T. So that's the, that's the equation that models, um, again, it's a cos equation because we're starting at the maximum. It models position versus time. Now, unfortunately, when I move this, I think it's going to, you can't, no, you can't lock it. Okay, do you guys have that copy down? Because I'm going to have to erase that part of it. Save that picture too. <laughs> okay, now we're on velocity. So the object has the fastest speed when it passes through its equilibrium point. Okay, it's moving fastest when it goes through equilibrium. So when the position versus time graph goes through equilibrium, that's when the object has the fastest um, speed. So I wish I had these. This is a sine function. Yeah, it's just it's it's the it's right. It's shifted. It's a sine function. So it's the object starts. Guys, the object has speed of zero when it's at its amplitudes. Okay, because it stops for a moment and then goes back the other way. And when our position versus time graph is going through its equilibrium, it's moving backwards and it has the fastest speed. So everything's just offset from the position versus time. And the multiplier here is omega. Is it omega a different symbol? No, that's lowercase omega. Omega A sine omega T. Yeah. Okay, don't copy what I'm going to put on the board here. I'm just going to redo. When the position is at the maximum, the velocity is stopped. Then it starts to increase its velocity in the negative direction. It starts to move downwards. And it reaches its maximum velocity when it goes through equilibrium. Okay. So when the position goes through equilibrium, the velocity is maximum backwards. Uh, then it slows down to rest again when it gets to the other amplitude. And now it starts moving forward again. So its velocity increases until the object passes back through equilibrium on the way back. Okay, and then it's got a maximum velocity. Right, so that's the relationship there.
Okay. So, screen capture. Okay, one last graph. So, let's see. Let's see if you guys can think of this one on your own. You know, acceleration can be just thought of as force. So when it's not no. infinity. Um, so what, what do you think the acceleration is going to be with respect to the object's position? When the object is at the maximum position, is the acceleration going to be maximum or minimum? No. Yeah, maximum, but it's going to be directed the opposite way. So the acceleration, because again, the acceleration is opposite the displacement, it's just the negative cos of the first graph. Oh, so you should put a negative part of that, right? So we just flip the first one around. That's right. Zero inches and ten Zero inches. And the multiplier on the y-axis this time is uh, omega squared. So the function I'll give you a second to get caught up here, but if I cover up this, what was a cos omega t? Look up two equations. Position, or x, right? And a is negative omega squared x from our very first equation that we saw, it all comes back together, okay? Okay. Finally, I can go back to the actual smart board. What? No, not yet. Oh, I hope it didn't overwrite my other pages. No, we're good, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he caught me over and then I was like, he's at it, right? He was like, so Kyle was like, for, for like two more minutes, he was like, you're right. Yeah, 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 you guys have been awesome so far. We gotta keep pushing through, all right? We got a few more equations to get through. So, th those graphing equations were with respect to time. Now we're just gonna talk about some other. We're just gonna be doing a lot of subbing in and getting some other.